Hey there, I want to share with you a, uh, a scale pattern that I've been working on. I just played it. A little thing I came up with. It's, it's uh, practicing the Dorian scale with a triplet rhythm. So this is... I don't know if it's 6, 8, 9, 8, or 12, 8, but each of these quarter notes is subdivided into threes. So... And I'm playing the first four notes of the C Dorian minor scale twice. I loop that, and then I go up to the seventh. So I go up to F, I go back down, um, and then I go all the way up to B flat, I go back down, and then I do the two up to the fourth. And I go all the way up to the minor third and the second octave. That's the first part. I do that twice, up to the seventh. And then I do this twice again. And then I go up to the minor third, um, up an octave. Anyway, when it comes to scale patterns, I'm always looking around for something new. And I have... Um, okay, I'm back. I thought I had my books here in my office, but... Uh, this is a saxophone scale book that has... Um, scales that start on different degrees and different kinds of scale patterns. I like to play out of this one, and, and uh, I always think that I've kind of uh, run out of stuff to do, and that, that I've exhausted the possibilities, but it's never ending. Um, I do appreciate having these music books that have different scale patterns. There's a good one, Patterns for Jazz, uh, has a lot of different scale patterns. Scale patterns are something that builds your technique up um, so that you can improvise better. It's not. It's not something that you might you might not necessarily use it in an improvisation, but it gets you all kind of. Uh, uh, it's the athletic work behind the scenes. So if you you might see a great figure skater, and the work behind the scenes is he's he's in the gymnasium lifting weights, so he can jump higher. He or she. Um, anyway, uh, music to me is a. A sport. There's a certain athleticism involved when we play scales, scale patterns, arpeggios. It's um, it's getting us ready f for making music. It's not the main event, but it's the behind the scenes thing. Anyway, uh, again, this pattern um, it's in uh, in triplets. The thing that I quickly discovered is I as I begin working this out in all of the keys is that in some keys it's easier than others and you know key of C I can play it pretty rapidly key of D is easy also It flows real nice. Um, here's the thing. I'm going to try and do it in C sharp. And then you discover that you have some breath changes that are happening. Uh, breath changes combined with hole changes and changes of the position of the slide. So right off the bat, uh, that feels awkward just even going this half step D sharp to E. As I was working this up, I had to play it slowly because it doesn't flow as well as C or D minor. Eventually, I try to get to the place where I'm, they're both at the same tempo.
Anyway, um, I could go through and tell you which keys flow better than others, but um, what's the point? It's kind of the nature of the chromatic harmonica um, that some scales flow better than others. Uh, anyway, I like doing this. was just a different way of practicing the scales. And I've tried to incorporate this triplet pattern for major scales, and it just doesn't sound as cool. Um, so I might do an exercise where I just do the first four notes of the scale in all keys. I'll demonstrate that. That's A minor, I'm going up to B flat now. For some reason B minor is the most awkward. And then just to top it off, I'm gonna do C one more time. And then I might do it up to the seventh in all of the keys. And I might move around in fourths. So that was C minor. I'll go to F minor now. And then B flat. E flat. A flat. D flat. F sharp. Ooh, that one's a tough one. Uh, then we're in B. And then E. A. D. G. Then that would bring us back to C. So that was all the way around the circle of fourths. Up to the seventh, I would do the same thing with the last part of the scale exercise where I take it up to the, the minor third. And I might move in whole steps this time. So it'd be D, E, You could really feel the difference between D and E. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the keys, but when we move in whole steps, um, you're going to get eventually back to where you started, and then you want to get, go down to the bottom of the harmonica and start up a half step, and then move in whole steps. That was um, D flat up to E flat, and then we would go to F to G to A to B. Um, so anyway, working out scales and scale patterns. I was talking about the major scale, and you could do the major scale uh, with this kind of triplet rhythm also. <laughs> works. I'm not, I'm not quite used to doing it. Anyway, I never practice that. That was just me going out on a limb on the video. So maybe that's something I can work on. It just like I said, it doesn't sound as cool as the minor version of it. You could practice your natural minor scales with that pattern. You could practice 
um, the harmonic minor scales. You could practice your melodic minor scales. Again, something I've never tried, so... It was different. Something else for me to work on, so... Um, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Be on the lookout for my record, summer of 2019. More harmonica on the record than I thought there would be. So, um, anyway, if you're on my mailing list, I'll certainly let you know. I'll make a big announcement on YouTube.